Well, hey guys, good morning and welcome back to our channel, Home Free Alaska. You know, sometimes I forget that some of you are new here and this is your first time visiting the channel. I wanna say welcome and thanks for checking us out. We are the Watson family. We are a small family living off grid in the state of Alaska. We recently just retired from the military, sold everything in Virginia, significantly downsized from almost a 2000 square foot home to our adorable little 600, actually just under 600 square foot foot Frisian style cabin here in Alaska and it's adorable and we're loving it and we're sharing our life with you guys here it's a lifestyle vlog everything from A to Z and those of you that have been around for a while know it's like everything from A to Z there's pretty much not much that we don't share here on our channel we enjoy taking you guys along with us we have three beautiful children so we have uh, two biological children our daughter Lexi is 21 and doesn't live at home anymore obviously she lives here in Alaska as well in her own apartment with her boyfriend James and I would encourage you to go over and check out her channel it's called life with Lex I will link it here for you guys two X's in the name Lex life with Lex and you'll find her over there and see what she's up to our son Parker is almost 11 and then we have a beautiful precious boy with us his name is Kellen we met met Callan and his family in Virginia when we lived there and they became very good friends of ours and at the request of his family Kellen has been sent to Alaska for a year under a temporary guardianship to be with our family and uh, you know we are just soaking him up precious little boy that has just blessed us in so many ways and we're just teaching him the Alaska way you know all the things snow machining roading motorcycles, cutting up firewood, fishing, all this stuff, and he's having a blast out here. So with that being said, if you're new, that's a little bit about us. Welcome to the channel. Today, we are working, y'all. We are working. I've been telling you guys, for a while, last fall we came out for a week and we chopped down close to 75 to 100 trees to clear the way for the sun so that it could reach our solar panels because we are completely off grid and our power source is strictly solar and also the generator in the winter time when we don't have much sun. And then it snowed of course and the trees were covered in snow for months and months and months and now everything is thawed out as we're in the summer and it's time to finally finally get our hands dirty get down there get these trees chopped up hauled up stacked so they can be seasoned for firewood so we thought we would take you guys along with us it's gonna be a lot of work but we did invest in some new toys we have a wood chipper and we just got a wood splitter as well which has been a game changer we've been chopping our wood uh, with a chainsaw we're taking the trees down with the chainsaw chopping our wood with an axe for about six months which works really great on dry wood but if you're trying to chop up wet wood it's it's difficult uh, so the splitter has just really changed our lives it's amazing so anyway let's get to it we have a lot of work to do so here's the new wood splitter and this is what we've done so far and I just can't believe how much faster we got through this with the wood splitter versus chopping all of this by hand with an ax. A lot of you have asked if we have plans to build a woodshed and of course the answer is yes. We've had a lot of projects and that is actually the next one we're gonna be working on so we have somewhere to store all this wood. But right now we really wanna to try to get these trees chopped up and hauled up the hill uh, because this area down here is where our greenhouse is gonna go. This area has full sun all day long in the summertime and that's why we put our solar panels here. They're south facing and so we need to clear this area so we can level that out to get the foundation going for our greenhouse house. What you working on? A uh, head. A uh, head. Kinetic sand head. 
Oh, you're making like a person's face? Yeah, and then I do their hair. Oh, you're giving a haircut. Okay. Where's Kellen? Riding his motorcycle. Are you guys gonna help us with the wood today? We yeah. got a lot of work to do. You can use those extra hands, okay? So we've uh, moved about the equivalent of a tree. <laughs> oh my goodness, these trees are so heavy because they're just soaking wet. They are, they're, most of them are birch and they're full of water and they're just extremely heavy. I know, I know they look like little logs, but trust me when I say they're very heavy. These little boys are workhorses. They are so strong. We might have bribed them with a candy. We're gonna go to the local market later this evening because James and Lexi are coming over tomorrow. James's birthday is today, he turned 21, and I wanted to surprise him and make him a little cake. So we're gonna go up to a local market that is not too far away, and I'm gonna get some stuff to make him a surprise birthday cake tomorrow. And I told the boys, if you guys work really hard today and you have a good attitude, we might reward you with something sweet. So they've been working extra hard. They work hard all the time, but you throw a little candy in there, it's amazing what you can get them to do. Rolling on the river. Now, 
Now you have to go get it. What would you rather do, Parker? Do language arts or <laughs> stack firewood? Stack firewood. <laughs> I'd rather stack firewood too. Yeah. What about you, Callan? Would you rather do school or stack firewood? School. Really? Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. I think it's just because you like your teacher. You have a super cool teacher, huh? Huh? Don't say that. Why aren't you answering me, Callan? <laughs> I wouldn't say that at all. You would? Mom, want to know why, why I had to bring the kinetic sand down from the tree house? Why? Because I found a little spider crawling in there. Oh, inside of it? Uh-huh. He was like, like a monster coming out of a grave. <laughs> what I saw first was his little front of his feet. All right, let's start a new row. Okay. There's a Jenga block sticking out. Jojo. You should you should let us get two pieces or three pieces of candy. Three? Or you should give us two or something. Oh, dang these mosquitoes. We'll see what happens. <laughs> <Bullet>. <laughs>
And these wood chips really come in handy. It's so nice for so many things on the property and there's just so much of it. All right guys, we just got back from the local market, picked up some stuff for James's birthday tomorrow and decided to take the boys on a little motorcycle ride. They like to go around the dirt roads off the property just because it's more open and it gives Callan a good chance to practice because on the property they only have so far to go and he really, he's getting really good with the motorcycle but you know when you're going up hills and stuff, there's a little bit more technique to it. So he's learning and he's doing really good. So we took them on a motorcycle ride really quick and now we are going to burn some trash. We have a lot of cardboard and we typically save it up and do a big bonfire. about 55 degrees right now we still have had no sunshine okay take it back we had like a, a ooh, that's hot Joe we had about a 15 minute break of this gloomy rainy weather the other day and we decided to go on a walk with the dogs off the property which we never do because we have a 15 acre piece of property so why leave the property but we were like let's go on a walk and don't you know because of all the rain the mosquitoes were Extra bad, extra bad. So, you know me, in my handy dandy thermocell, it's like, <laughs> they don't dare to land on me. Just stick it in my pocket, leave this part sticking out. They don't mess with me. We are finally getting rid of this old furniture that was left in the cabin when we bought it and it's been buried under the snow outside since last fall and of course it's just completely destroyed and and uh, rotted from all the snow and all that so it's finally getting burnt. It's been this huge pile of furniture next to the chicken coop since we moved in. <laughs> But we couldn't see it until recently when the snow melted, so we're getting rid of it. You know why it won't light? Thunder. Hmm? Thunder. Why do you think it won't light? Because it's wet. Because it's wet grass. Yep, you need dry grass. What are you doing? Fire Are you doing the Alaskan Native Fire Dance? Let me see it, Callan, go. Wow. <laughs> you got magical powers, Callan! Your Alaskan Native Fire Dance did the trick! Grab me one of those boards over there. Told you guys we had some furniture to burn. <laughs> This was a nasty futon that was left in the cabin by the cellar. It was one of the first things I got rid of. It stunk, it was all stained up. Now it's gone. You getting ready, Joe, just in case? Never know. Never know? <laughs> Firefighter Joe with the garden hose? Uh -oh. Hey, 
guys. Just coming in to check on y'all. Make sure you're all in here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. You're all here. So the chickens are doing wonderful. As you can see from today's video, we have started to let them out in free range. Every morning we come out, open up the door, and they just free range right around the chicken coop and the cabin all day. And then at night, as you can see, they put themselves to bed. This is, this is what chickens do. They're super easy. Um, when you're training them to come back to their coop, sometimes you might have one or two that tries to perch up in a tree outside or something. You just got to bring them back into the coop. We have not had that problem with this flock that we got here in Alaska. This flock uh, <laughs> learned very quickly what, where their house was and every night they put themselves to bed and all we have to do is come in and shut that little door uh, that we open every morning to let them out. So it's been, it's been great. So. They have been some good chickens. We've got three roosters and so far no aggression or craziness. So, you know, as long as they're nice, I don't really care. Uh, you know, they say you're supposed to have like one rooster per eight to 10 hens, but we've had multiple roosters before and never really had a problem. Sometimes you do, sometimes you don't. Sometimes they fight and they're aggressive and then you gotta put one down. But these guys seem to have their pecking order under control. So as long as it stays that way, they can stay here. Joe, you did a great job tending to this fire. Thanks for getting rid of that trash pile for me. Mm -hmm. I think I can make this to the pond. Uh, all the way to the pond? Yeah. Yeah, I think you could. Oh, you made it, Joe. The first day that we let the chickens out, I was really nervous. I told you guys in a previous video because our two cats, Rusty and Asher, have killed some birds around the property. Just, you know, little birds, little chickadees, little sparrows, whatever. And we have been trying to break them from it, but it's like natural instinct for a cat. You know, they do bring mice to us as well, which is why we got the cats, but we don't want them killing the little birds. So I was afraid that we were gonna have issues with them trying to go after the chickens. And the first day we let the chickens out to free range, Rusty, the orange cat, didn't really want anything to do with them. He was just kind of like, mm, they're a little too big for me. But Asher picked the smallest chicken in our flock. In fact, she's so small, the boys have named her Tiny. And Asher, <laughs> we let them out. And all of a sudden I hear the boys screaming and Asher is chasing a chicken all the way across. And he is like a lion on the safari in Africa. You know what I'm saying? You watch the Discovery Channel and the lion's almost to the gazelle and he's like basically running on his back two feet and pawing at his prey. That was Asher and the chicken is just like, bah, bah, and she's running as fast as she can. She runs across, runs down into the forest and just keeps running. She's like, I'm done. I'm just gonna go and I'm never coming back. So Joe and Parker, oh, look at that mosquito that just landed on the lens. Joe and Parker had to go and search through the woods for like 30 minutes. They finally found Tiny and brought her home. And uh, so we got the spray bottle and we literally for a good couple hours kind of hung out on the deck drinking coffee and watched the cats with the chickens and had to spray them a few good times. And I think they finally learned their lesson, huh, Joe? Yeah. Like, I think like after that first day that we had that issue, uh, I think Asher got scared of the spray bottle. He realized he was gonna get soaking wet every time he tried to get a chicken and we haven't had an issue since. So I'm very happy because my chickens will free range. I, I don't like my chickens to be locked up. I like them to have grass and bugs and flowers, which is a good natural diet for them. So I'm very happy that all the animals are getting along. I could probably eat this whole bag. That's how much I love them. Huh? Oh, that's so good. I ate the whole box. The whole bag. Of the, um, what they come in. Let's see. Hmm. It feels like we're actually um, camping right now. You feel like you're camping? Mm -hmm. Kind of like you are, huh? Like, you know how it has all the people around there? Mm -hmm. Yeah. You like your homemade uh, bench Mr. Joe made you? Mm -hmm. <laughs> that was a fast fix. Better <laughs> stand up. Stand up like this. Yeah, I'm not too much too long. 
You like Alaska, Kellen? Mm -hmm. What's your favorite part about it so far? Um, I don't know if it's nice. One thing I have a better dad. Huh? One thing about it, I have a better dad, Mr. Joe. You have a better dad and Mr. Joe? You like Mr. Joe, don't you? Aw, Kellen. That makes me happy. Joe's a good dad, huh? And a fun one. And a fun one? <laughs> I keep on drop, dropping my pistachios on the ground. If it's got the shell on it, you can pick it up, just pull it apart and eat the pistachio out of it. Stop about there. Oh, keep going. Okay. Oh, there's you know, don't swing it around or it'll fall off. Remember how we did the marshmallows at the remote cabin for the s'mores, Kellen? Uh huh. So that's how you're going to do your hot dog, okay? Yeah, you want to cook it a little bit more, baby? Or else it's going to be cold in the center. Yeah, it's going to be good. You ever roasted a hot dog before like this? <laughs> it's the best way to eat it because you get that roasted. No. You want more ketchup than that? It's good right there. Ah, you sure you don't want more ketchup? Yeah. You ready, P? Yeah, y'all. Yeah. Come here. Okay. More? Love more. A little ketchup freak. Yes, yeah. A little hot dog with your ketchup, P. <laughs> there you go. How is it? Good. Good. Mm. No. Well, the boys are excited because we got stuff to make s'mores. We were gonna wait until tomorrow when we're with Lexi and James, but we can do s'mores two nights in a row, right? Who says we can't? So he's getting the stuff to make s'mores. That's Callan's uh, food dance. <laughs> oh, Callan getting excited about some food. I'm gonna get you a s'more. <laughs> Callan, you're a nut. You know, we didn't plan on sitting outside by the fire today and eating dinner out here and roasting s'mores. But sometimes the best things are the ones not planned, right? Helen says, this was a beautiful day. I said, yes, it was. Got some work done, lots of family time. That's the best part about it. Touch the wood. Ashes. Yeah, you gotta make sure you turn it. Don't touch it on the wood, Kellen. Because then you'll get ashes on your marshmallow. Turn it, turn it. Turn it, turn it. All right, pull it out and blow it out. Blow, blow, blow. Good job, bring it to Joe. I'm gonna burn it a little bit more. No, that's burnt, baby. <laughs> that, you don't want it more burnt than that. Good job, boys. All right, give it to Dad. It's a gummer, It sure melts a lot better than I do with the torch. Mm. How is it? Oh, now they're both doing the food dance. Yeah, get it, get it, don't stop, get it, get it. Oh, look at those layers, yes. Mm. I got mine. Hurry.
No, it didn't. Keep it pointing it out. What are you doing? What? <gasps> <laughs> Who is this? Sally. Sally! Girl! She has cargo pants on. Kind of. Cargo pants. Okay, looks like she has no pants on to me. Dang, look at them legs though. Yes! The other day I was out here telling myself, self, Alaska sure does have a lot of mosquitoes. I had a little bit of a tummy ache. So I went inside and I got some Pepto and I felt a little bit better. <laughs> does it make you nervous? <laughs> when the camera's just on you for no reason at all? What? Break it down one time. Break it down one time. Alaska life. Alaska life. Mm.